Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee, and in this video, I want to show you how to fit a plain tile roof flashing on a key light roof window. So before I begin fitting this flash in, I'm going to fit the felt collar and all leading roof window manufacturers now have a felt collar tailor made for the window which forms part of the full specification. So I've put a few tiles on the roof and I'm ready to put in the first piece of flashing which is that bottom apron and you'll notice that I've cut the nibs off these tiles and secured them to the batten. Actually I've screwed them here, you would normally just nail them but because this is a training rig we prefer to use screws but the important thing is just make sure they're firmly fixed before you put the flashing over the top. So you notice the coverage we've achieved on this flashing, that's not done by accident, that's done because this critical measurement, which is basically from the top of the batten that the window is resting on, to the batten below, which is there, and that has to be 100 millimetres, which is the same as the gauge for all the battens anyway. So at this point all I want to do is put a screw in there just to make sure that we're securing that bottom apron. So the first tile on top of the flashing is going to be a tile and a half so that we keep the bond and you can work out where to put it because actually Keylight have put the instructions on the flashing but also you can work it out just by seeing where that first soaker goes in so we make sure that's right. So before we put the soaker on, we put the next tile on. That's important, line that up, keep the bond as you can see, all the way through, and make sure that's well fixed. A couple of nails through there. And then the first soaker you'll see is cut away and it's also marked up number one on the bottom here and that has to slide in this is important that it actually slides in to that bottom cover there and sits neatly down in there so when it comes to positioning these soakers what you're looking for is if you go too far down it starts to ride up and you get a gap under there so just slide it back till you lose that gap till it's sitting snugly in there and then I'll just take that off so you can see that we've still got more than our 50 mil overlap that we need so we're absolutely fine there we just write it write it down to there and nail it in by the way the nails are provided in the flashing kit don't be tempted to use another nail which you might have to hand because there is a danger if you put too long a nail in that you're going to appear on the inside of the frame and that can be embarrassing. So when I come to do this soaker, what I do is I nail it down slightly because we don't want to clash with that hinge. That hinge is rebated and although it wouldn't actually do it any damage, the wood will be a bit thinner at that point than elsewhere in the, in the window. So with this soaker, because we're still at the hinge point, I just position it where it's got to go and you can see that we're still at risk of nailing around that hinge point so what I tend to do there is just tuck the ear over of the soaker that will hold it and stop it slipping down quite honestly I've seen roofs where every single soaker has been fixed like that it doesn't do any harm So that's this side completed, now I'm going to do the other side which as you might expect is just a mirror image and once I've completed that side we can run through the top. So now we're just going to put this side flashing in to cover over the soakers 
and that just simply slides up into place and is secured by a single screw down into that hole there. Now it's time to fit this low profile hood. Now I've got the tiles up both sides. Now this hood actually comes in the window and not the fashion kit. And it's a nice bit of design really because you've got two clips here which you just swivel up into place. And then even on a windy day, you haven't got to worry because you can just simply locate those under the clips, swing it down into place and it's positively located. So I've just got the two screws to put through there. So this is the top apron, or as I call it, the back gutter. It goes on and you'll see that it's a very nice tight fit there. And if you've got any space between that flashing there and the tile, Just tap it down into place. And now I've got the tilting fillet, which basically just gives somewhere for that bottom course of tiles to sit on. And we're gonna put the screws in the side to hold that top apron in place. Now all that remains for me to do is to put this glazed sash back into the window and that's been made a lot easier since Keylight introduced that spring-loaded finger hinge. All in all, I'm really pleased with this window and I think you'll see that it was very easy to fit.